Yo, what's going on, everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Wisdom Seekers University. And um, y'all already see what the title is. The title is Square Up. All right, so anybody know what squaring up mean when it comes to uh, boxing or whatever it is? It's like putting your sets up, squaring up, standing up, you know what I mean? However you want to look at it, right? So anybody that knows what a 90 degree angle is, they know that it's a square, right? A right angle for the most part, okay? And so um, when you're standing upon the earth, technically you are squared with the earth. All right. So now we know our uh, all the ancients had their ways of expressing different ideas through art. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about can you discern what was going on and what they meant with the pictures that you see? You know what I mean? So, uh, of course, well, I'm not going to say that part. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. But if you analyze this picture, tell me what do you see? Right? A lot of people may just see the image itself, right? Just saying that's uh, Osiris or whoever it is, right? Sitting on their throne and, you know, they're looking at all the outside aspects of it, okay? I don't know if they actually would notice or if you actually notice that it's symbolic for something else, all right? So let me tell you what I see. I see a carpenter's square. That's what I see, a carpenter's square. Hmm, interesting, right? And of course, the longer you look, the longer you focus, the more things you will observe. Wow. As a matter of the fact, I just observed something else. Excuse me for that, y'all. I'm in the garage, people ride by all the time. Now, if you look at that part, the bottom part of it, that looks like the uh, one of those Egyptian gods as well that has the thing around the head. Y'all know what I'm talking about, but that, that's what that looks like too. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I don't want to hold y'all up too long. Get straight to the point. All right, so let's see what... Uh, a carpenter square mean. A carpenter square is a steel square used by carpenters, larger than a tri-square. Type of square, a hand tool consisting of two straight arms at right angles, used to construct or test right angles. All right, so it says, it's a hand tool, okay, consisting of two straight arms at right angles, used to construct or test right angles. All right, so now let's go to one of these pictures right quick again. So boom, now as you can see, this uh, carpenter square resembles the picture you see next to you. Now, they said it's tools in your hand that measure something, right? That, that, that gauges the 90 degree angle, okay? So the two tools is the tools that you see in his hand he's holding at a 90 degree angle, okay? And moreover, you can see one of the tools that he has is actually, if I'm not mistaken, breaking with breaking in with a 45 degree angle, right? The um the object in the left hand that appears to be a 45 degree angle. Okay, so now remember that I'm trying to explain the fact that this picture is representing this compass square that you see above. So this picture is telling you how to be a surveyor and how to stand upright. Um, physically, like you know, geo, uh, geometrically, right? To say the geometry or whatever, which is the measurement of the earth, okay? And also personally, as far as like managing yourself, 
standing yourself up straight, like being able to uh, conquer difficult times to overcome, right? To master yourself, basically, to banish yourself. Even though it's a hill or, 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 uh, or uh, a hill or a curve or whatever it is, you see what I'm saying? Whatever the landscape is, you are able to adjust to the terrain, right? To the weather, to the atmosphere, all right? So now, so peep game, pay attention to the tool that's in his hands and pay attention to the seat that he's sitting on and pay attention to the ruler aspect, the bottom part of it, right? And if you notice the bottom part of it, just for um, just a bonus piece of information, um, the, the, the lines that you see are representative of the electromagnetic waves, right? Those are electromagnetic waves or frequency waves or radioactive waves or whatever you want to call it, right? But they're waves for sure dealing with the electromagnetic field that surrounds us in our atmosphere that we are submersed in, quite frankly. All right. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go to the next picture. All right, so now we're observing a protractor. Uh, and so if you see, you know, of course you're still uh, observing the, uh, uh, the, the the carpenter square as well, right? You see the carpenter square, and then you also see the protractor attached to this one. Now, most importantly, the thing I want you guys to notice is the 43, 45 degree angle deal, right? You see where it says 45 degree angle? And I was telling you guys that the tool in this hand is basically a 45 degree angle, okay? It's, it's giving representation of that. Is showing that, okay? And then you see spirit level. And everyone knows when we speak of spirit, we know we kind of relate to, but in this case, the spirit level is the fluid inside of the gauge to balance out. You know what I mean? People know what it is, where the fluid had to be balanced or whatever. Wow. Oh, I forgot to even point that out. I'm glad I saw this. See, now look, if you look at my arm, you can tell, you can see this angle right here, right? This slight angle. So that's a slight angle too at the bottom, the part that I told you about the frequencies or whatever. You can see how it's at a slight, a slight angle. It's not straight, all right? So it's letting you know that it has to be balanced, but he's sitting straight on top of it, right? So it's letting you know he's balanced. He's perfectly balanced. So now... The spirit level, you see the spirit level, right? Which means balance or whatever. You have to balance everything out. You have to balance the spirit. All right. And then on top of that, you have the square head, right? Which is his head. And if you pay attention, you can kind of see how it curves and everything at the top. You know, I mean, you just got to just look into it for yourself and just see what you can see out of it. But for me, I could obviously see that this is definitely a duplication of square uh, of the carpenter square all right so um for the most part i think that's all i wanted to show you guys for today you know what i mean and um so the ultimate message is is to make sure you stay squared up you know what i'm saying got to stay squared up that's what it's all about stay on top of your game do everything that you can do to move forward and um, pay attention to all the signs, right? Um, especially for you people that tend to follow certain beliefs and train the thoughts or whatever, or, you know, in different schools of thought, right? But be sure to pay attention and think on your own and see things for what you see them to be, where that you can explain how you see it that way. 
right? So, uh, yeah, man, until next time. And I definitely appreciate y'all uh, checking me out. And uh, if you guys like the information, as always, let your people know about it. If you check out the video and you like the video, just go ahead and hit, hit the subscribe button one time, man, and hit that bell, right? So you can kind of keep up on my videos because um, I'm like a random person. There's no telling what I might put out. And it just may be something you need for your life or so there's someone else need for their life. All right. So each one help one. You know what I'm saying? Peace. I holler at y'all.